Hey guys, Brenton at RevitFamily.biz, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use our cabinets to cut the countertops. So a common problem that really used to get on my nerves when I was designing a kitchen or any other sort of cabinets, a bathroom, um, where there was a sink, particularly, this was common, um, is getting a hole in the countertop that fits the sink, and especially if I'm editing or changing things about the layout, when I'd move the sink, I'd have to move the, the hole in the countertop. I'd have to move three things, in fact. I'd have to move the sink, I'd have to move the base cabinet, and then I'd have to move the hole in the cabinet, or in the countertop. So it was constantly, any time I made a change, it was a constant times three for the amount of work. And so, for our families, anything that goes through the countertop, I have included in the base cabinet. So what we're looking at here are the sinks. And if you were to just place our cabinets and a countertop, this is what you would get. So here's a bunch of sinks. Here's our countertops. And then it's the same thing with our cooktops. Here's our cooktops and here's a countertop. And if you look, you can see the countertop is running through the cooking area, our burners. And if you look at our sinks, you can clearly see the only thing co coming through the base cabinet is just the spout for the water. Okay, But our sink is built into our cabinet. So the cool thing is you don't have to place the cabinet and then go find a sink and place the sink and then cut a hole. This is, can all be done really quickly. So now now that we've placed the sinks and the countertop, all we have to do is use the cut geometry tool up here. You hit under geometry, there's cut. You click that and then you first select the countertop, then you select the cabinet. And then it cuts a hole for you and it matches the sink. So it can get addicting, look. I'm just gonna do it three times here. Same thing with the cooktops. You click the countertop and then you click, click the cooktop cabinet and you can see it cuts out the countertop. And it's as easy as that. That's all you have to do and you don't ever have to do it again. So if we go into level one and we're looking at this in plan view and I decide I need to move my cabinet three inches, it moves the cabinet, it moves the sink, and it moves the hole and you have no headaches left. You don't have to switch views to try to chain, to move all three of those things. You can do it all in one view, all in one motion, and it works like, like butter. All right, guys, let me know if you have questions or concerns. Thanks for checking out our families.